Okay, so our next topic are enzymes. And then enzymes are proteins or protein complexes that catalyze chemical reactions. And as you read previously, uh, catalysts is any substance that speeds up the rate of a reaction. So reactants are turned into products uh, more quickly. Uh, they do so by lowering the activation energy of the reaction. So if we plotted the energy, potential energy of the reactants and products as a function of time or reaction progress, I often say, uh, the reactants uh, would start out at some point higher or lower energy than the products. And then of course, eventually they turn into the products or the chemical change results in the product formation. Uh, the difference in potential energy between uh, the highest uh, point in this curve and the potential energy of the products, that's called the activation energy. That's the amount of energy it takes to get this reaction going. When a catalyst is present and uh, or enzyme is present in biochemical reactions, what happens is it lowers the uh, activation energy. So this would be our catalyzed activation energy. And since it is lower, more molecules have enough energy to overcome it and complete the reaction. Your body has a lot of enzymes um, and they're usually named for what they uh, intend to do. Okay, Or um, even all living uh, substances have enzymes such as the enzyme that uh, would uh, convert carbon dioxide and water into carbonic acid, H2CO3. Uh, the enzyme that does this is called carbonic anhydrase, anhydrase excuse me. Uh, all uh, enzymes try to essentially try to tell you what they're doing. Um, in their name, as well as end in A-S-E. Names end in A-S-E suffix. And usually, catalysts, including enzymes, are written over what uh, what catalyst is being used for this chemical reaction. It's actually written over the arrow. So if you ever see uh, something written over the arrow, most likely it is a catalyst. Uh, the catalyst that uh, helps break down sucrose into uh, glucose and fructose in your body is called sucrase. Which is very important to get more glucose in your body uh, for energetic reasons. Okay. So let's talk about the uh, how the enzymes actually go about uh, this process. So normally when we think about uh, chemical reactions, uh, we call them reactants on the left side and then go to products. For enzymes, we typically call the uh, reactants the substrate. And it's still uh, produces a product. And of course the enzyme is needed there to catalyze it uh, to make product at an efficient rate. Okay, So all uh, enzymes are proteins and, or protein complexes and they usually have, not usually, always have what is known as an active site. in which the uh, enzyme, or excuse me, the substrate is going to bind to. And so we can call this the active site.
And what happens is the uh, substrate, the molecule, usually has a very specific shape that can fit into that active site. Now, if it is uh, in the in a has a structure, both the enzyme and substrate, where the substrate uh, completely fits into the active site, that is called the lock and key model. Because the uh, think about the the structures, the shapes of the substrate and enzyme are essentially a perfect fit to undergo this process. If instead the enzyme's active site and or the substrate uh, induce changes on one upon another, usually through intermolecular forces, where uh, the ch shapes of the, either the active site and or the substrate modify slightly so that the uh, exact shape is induced after that change, that's called the induced fit model of enzyme action. Either way, how it happens is once the uh, substrate uh, binds to the active site of this protein, and I'm not going to draw it perfectly again, but let's pretend these look exactly the same. Here's my active site for my protein. And if the substrate binds to that active site. Now we have the enzyme substrate complex. Enzyme substrate complex. And after some amount of time, the uh, reactant will be, or the substrate, will undergo the chemical reaction and the substrate uh, will um, turn into a product and then of course the enzyme will release the product and the chemical reaction is done. Very important to note that the enzyme and the, its active site are not changed at all in this process. That's one of the hallmarks of uh, catalysts is that they're not consumed in the process. Okay? So my product now would be two different uh, molecules. And so this would be maybe if this is my substrate, let's say that's sucrose. And after sucrase uh, metabolizes it, we've got glucose and fructose or whatever uh, substrate molecule that is. And so since the enzyme isn't being used, uh, used up in this process, it can go on to uh, catalyze further reactions, which is uh, very beneficial for a lot of biological processes that enzymes um, can keep on uh, completing their tasks. But of course, there are things that um, affect enzyme activity, um, including temperature. pH. And concentration. Of both the substrate and. The enzyme. Uh, for both the pH and the temperature, there are optimal ranges. Each enzyme will have a slightly different pH in which it is optimally uh, catalyzing chemical reactions. And the same goes for temperature. <clears throat> Depending on where the enzyme is and what uh, organs the enzyme uh, function is, the pH might be slightly higher or lower, and of course temperature um, might be higher or lower for optimal ranges. Um, concentration is usually... Uh, a linear process and that the rate of the chemical reaction would increase with the increasing 
concentration of substrate or enzyme. So there's usually a linear relationship. Unless, of course, um, the ratios are off. If all of the enzymes are saturated, meaning every enzyme uh, has a substrate molecule attached to it, obviously you can't catalyze um, the chemical reaction any further if you added more substrate. So there can be a plateau effect if the concentration of substrate far outweighs the concentration of the enzyme. So essentially you can saturate your enzyme activity uh, with too much substrate concentration. But if you were to add and more enzyme to this, the um, rate would start to increase again now that there are more enzyme molecules, uh, protein molecules that can catalyze more uh, chemical reactions.